Hey everyone. So one of the questions that I have been asked is how I do my potatoes. So um, this is going to be kind of embarrassing because I fully intended to rebuild these before I showed anybody. Um, last year we had an explosion of sweet potatoes that absolutely destroyed my beds. And part of the problem with that was um, we have built most of our raised beds out of recycled material like pallet wood and so it does not hold up for very long. Um, in the eight years that we've been at this property this will be this year the beds that we have to redo. This is the third um, time that I have built uh, garden beds. Not too terribly bad. We're getting about three years out of them and it's just a cost of our time. We get all the materials for free, the fasteners are free, um, and we've got it down pretty good that we can spend pretty much an afternoon coming out, tearing out the old ones, piling up the dirt, and then rebuilding. Um, it's not ideal. I am disturbing a lot of the stuff with the soil that I would rather not, but um, because I have not been able to afford to buy good material for them, um, we just use what we have. But, um, so I will go ahead and show what is left of the potato beds and explain how we um, build them and, and how I grow in them. Okay, so I currently have three beds and they are two foot wide by four foot long. My yard does slope down so you can see that they start there and gradually get a little bit taller down here. Um, I don't know if the slope is really obvious, but uh, yeah, the yard does slope, so we use what we what we're able to. I usually have this board that I move from garden to garden, and that is um, what I can set. Uh, my camera on, I can sit on it when I'm doing things. It's very convenient and um, it's just the perfect size. So I really like having those two foot beds um, <clears throat> for the potatoes. So last year, the sweet potatoes exploded out this side. And when we went to harvest them, they were just so thick throughout the whole bed um, I was afraid maybe it was from overplanting, but I think it was just a really prolific year. Uh, the vines themselves, if you don't control them, they will spread out and everywhere they touch, they will reroot and grow. And so, um, and I'll put some pictures in here to show, but they were spread out all through this and I couldn't even walk in it. It was all sweet potato vines and we harvested probably about 15 pounds of sweet potatoes out here and then I just got tired of um, trying to dig them up so I am sure we did not get them all as you can see this one completely got destroyed there's Lucy dog and then we have this one so usually what I do is um, like Yukons or russets in this first bed reds in this second bed and then sweet potatoes in this one but this year I wanted to or last year I'm sorry I wanted to have more sweet potatoes so um, I planted these bottom two with sweet potatoes and the top one with um, Yukons. <clears throat> now when we rebuild them what we will be doing is tearing out all of this putting the soil to the side and the new bed itself is going to be the four foot wide that these currently are by I'm not sure let's get out a tape measure and see By, well, if we stop where the, if we stop in line, and that one kind of blew out too. If we stop in line with that one, it'll probably be right around um, 
12 foot maybe a little bit over the 12 foot and then I'm just going to grow sweet potatoes in this one this year so then because I have such a large section over here let me back up so you can see I've got this is a pretty good sized walkway and I really don't need it um, this is where the yard slopes the most and so in the past you know trying to before we put the wood chips down trying to mum just didn't work so well um, so we put down the wood chips and then this year I did go ahead and have uh, I had a tomato in ground here here an in pot two in ground here and another one there and then I had a squash there is a rose of Sharon herb that I usually put herbs on um, you can see the soil has compacted down but usually I grow in these I have grown corn I have grown tomatoes and um, peppers and um, flowers so I'll probably do that again this year probably flowers or something that vines that we can come up on the fence but for this space I think I'm going to do another bed that is only two foot wide and then the 12 foot long and grow my um, you know my russets or Yukons or mm -hmm. I haven't decided yet um, but I think I might do that and then with this walkway being Oh, what have we got? This walkway. Ah. Now, initially, we did these so that we could get the lawnmower through. But the wood chips down. Yeah, it's four foot. And um, I no longer need really wide walkways like that. I do like them. But I could actually scooch those potato beds over a foot and have a three foot walkway. Have these be the four foot by 12 foot. And then I could actually get another four foot by 12 foot in here and be able to, I'm sorry, I'm like, okay, try and get this up to four foot. Okay, so that's four foot. And if I move that one over a foot, that could basically make a two, two and a half foot pathway there and still have a foot and a half on that side for walking. So that might be the best way to utilize this space. So then I get way more potato garden than I normally would have. Lucy has found a stick to chew on this <clears throat> that I need to add more soil to it um, it dropped down a lot this put in and um, a year ago I put down the cardboard and limbs and tree branches and um, bark and leaves and built it up but those leave little pockets of space and so over time the soil starts to fill in and as that stuff breaks down too so I need to top this off with compost so that it'll be ready for this year and back in this corner here so this is my my gate and we have an in-ground um, bulb garden here but in this corner we are going to do another probably grape to go across and then um, I usually grow whether it's lettuce or radishes or kohlrabi something of that sort over here and then all the way across over there I'll show you I have my um, asparagus but I think I'm going to turn this into a new asparagus bed so we have blackberries here and strawberries and this one is herbs. We'll put some more. So this is asparagus in this bed. 
and then I have some herbs and I usually plant herbs and squash down this side tomatoes all along the front down there and I do tomatoes all along from here all the way down along the fence and ground and then I usually do tomatoes up these and then I do peppers or herbs in front of the tomatoes and then on the back side I usually have um, the eggplant and um, more peppers and then this we didn't put row covers or anything up this year so we didn't plant anything in here but this usually is where we keep our lettuces and, and again like radishes carrots um, kale but I didn't do any uh, winter gardening and um, I'm by an airport so I, you can hear the the jets going by row covers I didn't get any of that stuff in uh, and this is it's hard to tell right there that is sorrel it has been transplanted twice let's see it's going into year nine to go back to what the video was about originally <laughs> which was potatoes so this is how I how I usually grow my potatoes it's usually sufficient depth size and um, manageability though those sweet potatoes just exploded we're gonna rebuild and um, be ready to plant again here in a couple of weeks thanks for joining me for an impromptu video